Well, I haven't given up completely on this welder yet. I tried to take the oil pan off this thing in the last video, and I had some problems with this shroud here, uh, kind of being in the way of me actually getting the pan off. So I went in, uh, looked up the repair manual from Miller, and I found an exploded view of this whole machine. And turns out, I think I can take this motor completely off this machine, basically by taking eight bolts out. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to go ahead and take this motor completely off the machine, sit it on the bench, and then from there we can figure out what we're going to do with this motor and what we're going to do with this welder to see what's going on. I said earlier we need to take four bolts out of this thing to remove this motor. And if you can see down in here where my finger is, there's a bolt. And there's four of these in here and I've already taken three of them out. So once I take this bolt out, then we're going to come up here, right here, there's a bolt, right there's a bolt, and there's two bolts on the other side. And once we get them two out, or them four out, this motor should slide off of here, and we should be able to set this on the bench and work on it. Let me go ahead and take this one out here real quick though, for you. So that was the four bolts out of there. Now I tried to slide this shroud or whatever, this thing is back that way. And I slid it about three inches, but not quite enough to where I could actually get in here decently to get that out. But it worked out anyways. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our ratchet and socket, take this bolt out, take that bolt out, the two on the other side, and this motor should be ready to come off of here. Like I said earlier, there was four bolts on the back side of this fan here that we took off. And there was a bolt here, it's is out. This bolt here is still in, that's the last one. And there's two on the other side, the exact same spot of these two. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out. Once this one comes out, this motor should be completely disconnected. We do gotta pull this cable here. It's a straight screwdriver, we'll loosen that, pull that off. I think everything else is disconnected. We're gonna set this thing on the ground and we're gonna take this motor and see if we can get this thing pulled off this thing, which it should come off pretty easily. Let me go ahead and get this one off. As you can see, I got the motor off and it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. You had the four bolts here, that's what bolted the, this is like the flywheel, kind of. So you had these four bolts had to come out and you had these four bolts here, which are basically just connected to the whole machine that holds the motor in place, kind of like the motor mounts and it's kind of like the flywheel bolts. And this bolt here actually holds this piece on. There's some bolts in here that will take this piece, this motor mount piece off. We're going to get into that later. What we're going to work on though is I'm probably going to take this exhaust off. There's two bolts right here that you can't see and there's two bolts on this side. That exhaust will come off. Take the carburetor off. Take the intake manifold off which is this two bolts right here. Two bolts over here. That'll come off and then basically the top of the motor will be clean at that point and then we can go ahead and start doing stuff like taking the heads off. Um, I want to get it flipped on the side and get this oil pan off is what I want to do first or what I want to do but I got to do a couple things like take the exhaust and the intake manifolds off first and we're going to flip it on the side and get this oil pan off and naturally see what's in the oil pan if there's anything in the oil pan take the oil pump make sure it works and then start stripping this thing back down to a bare block for a rebuild
So it figures I got one bolt to take out of the, this exhaust manifold to get this exhaust off and it strips out. Maybe it wasn't down far enough. Let me try it with the impact now that I got the head off. It might have been hitting the head or something. Okay, from the looks of it, it is definitely stripped, so we're going to have to use some different tactics. See if I can get a 12 millimeter. Take one there, and it's a no on that one. A 7 16th. Definitely a no on that one. So, I guess a pair of ice grips and. I don't know, a pair of channel locks. See what we can do. So this is going to be my first attempt of trying to get this stripped bolt out. Now I'm using these things. I guess they're kind of like a vice grip kind of thing. They do lock in place, so we'll see what happens. So that's definitely not going to work. That bolt is in there tight. So I'm going to hit it with some PB Blaster. I uh, don't know what that's going to do in a couple minutes, but... And I'm going to come and put some heat on this bolt, take a little blow port torch, put some heat on it, clamp this thing back down, and hopefully that's going to be enough to break that loose. I'll let you know in a minute. I put some PB Blaster on this about 10-15 minutes ago. Don't know what that's going to do in 10 or 15 minutes, but it's on there. And I got my torch. I'm going to throw some heat on this thing. Continue to try to use these. If these don't slip, I think it'll work, but if I can get some heat on there, maybe the heat will get this bolt a little bit looser. And we can go from there. So obviously that didn't work. I put some heat on it, a lot, a lot of heat on it. This is an aluminum head, and I'm not sure what a ton of heat is going to do to that. It might not do anything, I don't know. But we hit it with PB Blaster. Um, we put heat on it, and this thing just seems to be slipping. So i got to come up with something else besides this. I don't think this is going to work. The other thing is I need someone else to hold this engine, because when I go to turn it, I'm turning the whole engine. I need someone or something holding this engine from spinning. I think that might be part of the problem. Also, so <clears throat> that's where we're at right now. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm going to keep on working on this thing, trying to get this bolt out, because we can get this bolt out, we can get down the road a little bit farther. So that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to continue to work on this. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.